welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, today this is a little bit different. This is a tag film. Uh, it's a tag that was created by my YouTube wifey, Nikki Raven. And she did a film a few months ago now, I will admit I'm behind on my tag videos. Which was five random things about me that are not makeup related. So, if you're interested in finding out five random facts about me that are not makeup related, doing deja vu, sure I've already said that. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up. Here we go. So, first random fact about me. Regular viewers will know this because I do mention it. I am actually blind in my left eye. Um, it started when I was a child, I had a turn in my eye. My eye used to look at my nose, I believe it's now called a squint. It used to be called a turn when I was a kid. Um, Mum pointed it out to the health visitor, health visitor said I'd grow out of it. Unfortunately I was one of the few that should have had it operated on by the time I got to school. And they were doing the eye tests, because they used to do eye tests at school and all of us kids. Um, and realised I wasn't seeing properly with that eye, it was too late for the operation because it would have swung the eye too far out. Um, so I went through all the hoo-ha of looking like a bloody pirate because well, to try and make the eye work, it was the 70s, just bear with. They, they, they put a patch, a sticky patch, over the eye that was blind. And you had to leave that on for a whole seven days. So that eye was permanently shut, permanently in darkness, you had to wash around it kind of thing. And then, the following week, you had to take the sticky plaster off of the eye you couldn't see properly with and put a fresh one over the eye that you could see properly with in the hope it would force this eye to work. <clears throat> it's like telling someone with a paralysed left leg to tie their right leg up and not use it in the hope the left one will suddenly start working again. Needless to say, it didn't work. Um, for a long time, I used to get an awful lot of headaches. I had to wear glasses when I was a kid. Um, because I was long sighted so I used to have to wear them for close up work so I'd sort of have glasses perched on the end of my nose because I'd be long sighted looking at the blackboard or the OHP or whatever and then putting, looking back through the glasses to do my but of course that was just um, my right eye was long sighted actually they were both long sighted at the time uh, but this one saw perfectly perfectly crisp, full colour great. This one was, you know when you're underwater and you open your eye, how every, all the colours look muted and everything's blurry? That's what this eye was seeing. So my brain was getting very, very confused with the two different images. I just get so many headaches, it was crazy. Um, and I woke up one morning when I was about 13 and just couldn't see out of the left eye anymore. Uh, I can tell the difference between light and dark, so I can, if a shadow falls across the eye, I, I can tell that. But I couldn't tell you a colour, I couldn't tell you how many fingers you're holding up, I wouldn't be able to recognise somebody. Um, in the eye test when they say, can you read that letter, I'm like, there's a dark blob surrounded by a white blob surrounded by a dark blob, does that help? Because obviously the dark room, the white screen, and then the huge great letter in the middle of it and no. 
Um, so basically they, they've worked out that my brain, this eye apparently still sees long sighted. Um, the eye still reacts perfectly normally to, you know, pinprick light and everything. But the brain is ignoring the images it's receiving from the eye because it was confusing it too much. Which put a lot of strain on this eye, which is now short-sighted, so now I have to wear glasses for driving. <sighs> yeah. Fact number two, I currently have 20 tattoos, but I want more. Um, for me, tattoos are a way of expressing art, but they also have a second use now. <clears throat> I live with chronic pain, 24-7, 365. I wake up in pain, I spend all day in pain, I go to bed in pain, I wake up frequently through the night because I can't sleep, because every time I shift, the pain wakes me up. And if I do have a night when I actually don't move, I then can't move in the morning because everything's stiffened up. So, having a tattoo, the pain, of the tattoo is the only time I get any relief from the pain mostly in my spine but you know throughout my body with fibro because there's a new fresh pain which my body concentrates on and that works for about I think the longest session I had was three and a half hours when I had my unicorn done. Um, this one was three hours. And I think towards the end of the three and a half hours with this one, my brain was like, uh, bored with the new pain now. Here, feel your back pain again. So I can get sort of two and a half, three hours kind of relief from my back pain by having a tattoo done. So. Thankfully, as you will know from one of my four Fs being fat, there's a lot of me. Which means there's a lot of real estate, there's a lot of skin to be covered. It's just finding the... to be able to afford them. Random fact number three. I designed my wedding dress. I found a dressmaker who could create it for me. Because my wedding dress was purple and black. Purple is my favourite colour and at the time hubby only ever wore black, he never wore colours at all. Um, he now wears colours which is great but at the time he only ever wore black. So the whole of the wedding party, the, the best men, his brother, my dad, all in black suits, my brother, I think my brother wore a black suit. Um, I was in purple and black. My bridesmaids, my adult bridesmaids were in teal. And my godchildren, my four eldest godchildren, because obviously my youngest one hadn't even been born then, um, were in... The, the boys were in black trousers, white shirt, and then they had a waistcoat which was purple and black to match the top of my dress and the girls were in um, black, and, uh, black and purple top to match my dress and then the skirt was cream tool with little black sequins all over it to tie in the two things. Um, I know I'm biased but it was a stunning dress and when all of us were outside the church having our photos taken we, we had to move around the side of the church because around the front of the church where we started off um, we, we nearly caused some accidents because people were like oh my god it's a purple wedding dress slamming their brakes on getting their phone out and uh, god knows how many people have got photographs of me and my wedding party with my purple wedding dress um, the hotel over the road um, I knew one of the members of staff there 
so she knew what time I was getting married she couldn't get the day off unfortunately to come uh, but all of the staff were out the front because they wanted to see the purple dress they wanted to see the, this beautiful non-traditional wedding dress but uh, wedding in a church um, because I am religious I just don't slam it down people's throats you know um, a lot of my friends didn't even realise I was religious until I insisted that I had to be married in a church or I wouldn't have felt like I was married. Right, random fact number four. I have mentioned them all before, but I have five godchildren. Uh, I have two nephews, but sadly I can't have children myself, which... That's been tough to come to terms with. Um, I've always been the mum of the group. I've always been the one texting when you get home so I know you're home safely. Um, I've always had a motherly instinct. I've always loved babies. I've always loved children. Uh, and I always pictured myself as being a mum at some point. Apparently it wasn't his choice. I just wish he hadn't given me the motherly instinct if he wasn't going to give me the uh, motherly reproduction option. But I absolutely adore my two nephews. I absolutely adore our five, well, our two nephews, our five good children. Um, and probably spoil them a little bit too much. definitely spoil them with cuddles. They always get Auntie Angie cuddles. Because Auntie Angie cuddles are the best cuddles in the world. And my final random fifth fact about me is that I started to learn how to drive a lot later. You're allowed to start driving in the UK at 17. I didn't start learning until I was nearly 24 actually when I first started learning because being blind in the one eye I wanted to be sure that I was mature enough that I would remember to check my blind spot which is considerably bigger than most people's blind spot I mean, for example if you're driving you would see someone when they get probably you know level with you at the car I wouldn't see them until they're kind of at my wing mirror almost or half, well actually probably halfway down the, the uh, bonnet nowadays so I had to be sure that I would be sensible enough to check the blind spot for a long time I didn't want to learn how to drive because I didn't think I'd be safe and then I thought oh this is bloody ridiculous come on learn how to drive you can't stop you can't let the fact you only see with one eye stop you from doing anything it didn't stop me from playing rugby it's not going to stop me from driving so um, I literally had one lesson a week for four months and passed first time with not even any minor errors um, and in the UK we had to take a theory test before we were allowed to take our practical I think we now have to do hazard perception as well but that was that was way before that's I mean I, I've been driving 21 years now so good God, I've been driving 21 years. <sighs> wow. Anyway, uh, at the time you had to do your theory test and then you had to pass that in order to do the practical. And I was the first person in my county to pass the theory test 100% without dropping a single question. I was quite proud of myself for that. And then, oh, to be honest, I wasn't really worried about the theory because I've always been able to remember things, soak information up. I've got a brain like a sponge. It's like, give me information, give me information, give me information. Um, I was more worried about the practical, but yeah, I passed that first time. No problems at all. Bonus mini fact 5A. One of my driving lessons was the morning of Princess Diana's funeral. The roads were miraculously clear that morning. I got more driving done in that hour 
than I would have done in the previous three weeks because there was so much less traffic on the road. Um, got back in just as the funeral was starting. So, still watched it. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed finding out these five random facts about me. I know people have wondered why um, I'm blind in the one eye, so I hope that's now answered that question for you, if you are one of the people who have wondered. Um, if you haven't done this tag, but you have collabed with me, either individually or as part of a group, I tag you. I tag all of you to do this because I'm nosy and I want to find out more about my friends. And if you haven't got a YouTube channel and you are one of my 4F babies, you can always answer me in a comment because I'd love to know a little bit more about you too. Right, I hope you enjoyed this slightly different type of film from me. And I uh, guess it's time for me to go and start editing these now. So, all that remains for me to say as ever, my darlings, is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.